Welcome back to my little channel. Did you know, or did you notice, that in the Western world, for quite a long time, we have been told not to have children, or to have children as late as possible, and preferably only one. Now, they've tried different tactics to tell us this. I mean, when I was young, children were considered a burden because, hey, you could go out every night, or you could stay home and raise a child. I fell for this bullshit. I'll not lie. And um, I became a father pretty late in life, and I regret that. I really do. But to this very day, we are being told by whomever is doing the speaking, the media, the newspapers, even online, that having children is bad. Now, we don't get told it's bad because you might like to go out at night and you can't when you have children. No, now the story is you don't want to have children because climate change. But here's the thing. And I wanted to say here's the funny thing, but I don't think it is funny at all. The thing is that we are being told this not because it's such a good idea, but because they have, how do you call this? A narrative to play out. Because, and let me show you this small image. The ones that tell us to really have less children are the same that tell us that without immigration in the Western world, well, our countries won't survive. We need people from other countries because we don't produce our own, basically. Am I the only one that recognizes this? Well, no, I'm not, because I didn't make this image. And I'm sorry, the quality is as it is, so it's very difficult to read the fine print on this one. But you can Google the stuff yourself. These are not doctored. These are genuine screenshots. So at one point, they tell us not to have so many children. And at the other point, they tell us, well, I mean, they're not enough people, so we have to take in more immigrants, refugees. Eh, okay, now that sounds um, almost realistic. So what's the problem with that? Yeah, you know, the problem isn't so much that this happens. The problem is what it results into. Oh, what does it resolve into? Well... The scary thing, and this is something we are seeing in Europe, but I'm afraid it might not take very long for America to follow. Canada is already following us. We are now getting in as many foreigners, refugees as we can. And what does that mean? Well, if we look to Germany, it means that people are being evicted from their houses because um, they need the place for the immigrants. Now, this article calls them Muslim invaders, and uh, one could argue that that's not a nice way of saying it. Fair enough. I'll grant you that one. But the article, nonetheless, seems to be correct. The first they start talking about is a 74-old senior social worker who helped housing the migrants but nonetheless they needed a house a bigger house so he got moved or rather he got evicted and told to go to a different house a smaller one and somehow that is acceptable i don't understand that now if it's just the one case then yeah that's a problem but it's not just the one case I have a link to this article, and obviously you can see that there's a YouTube video, and a YouTube video from uh, Russian Today. You could argue that the sources may not be completely reliable, but unfortunately in this case, they are. 
I'll, I'll link one or two more cases, or rather one or two more places where you can find this information. But mainstream media is, surprise, surprise, rather silent on the matter. And I can't help but wonder why. At one point they tell us we need to stop having children. And at the other point they tell us it's necessary to bring on more migrants because otherwise our countries will um, collapse. In Germany, I would say vote Angela Merkel out. Not just in Germany, by the way, but obviously uh, Germany is the only place where they can fight Angela Merkel out. In Canada, I would say get rid of what's his face, uh, blackface dude. I'm sorry, I can't remember his name right now. Macron, France, get him out. Sweden, replace the whole fucking government. Vote them out. They are destroying your countries. And that's not me saying we shouldn't have refugees. Because helping people, yeah, sure, try to do what you can. But at this point in time, we're not helping people. We're destroying our own society, bringing in loads of people from other countries who may or may not want to be here. And um, we're not helping anyone. We're not helping the refugees because by creating an unstable work environment and life environment in our country, we're not making things better for them. And we're not helping ourselves because by creating an unstable work and life environment, we're not being helped either. I mean, our social health care system will be overtaxed. Uh, our, 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 our welfare system will be overtaxed. And it's not going to help anyone. I mean, in the Netherlands, at the moment of the coronavirus, at the moment we have the coronavirus, fair enough. So lots of public things have been closed down. This is not to blame migrants. It's not their fault. This shit happens. What do I find so interesting then? That when you go to most GPs in big cities, you will see leaflets on the door in seven or eight different languages telling people that they can't come in. It's a good thing that we tell people this. It's not their fault that this happened. I'm not saying that. But the fact that we have people living in this country that aren't able to communicate with the residents, the, 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 the natives of this country, is kind of a problem. Seven different languages needed to basically say a simple thing, where, in all fairness, I would say two, maybe three should be enough. But we're not getting in the doctors that we were promised, the lawyers. We're getting in fighting aged men with hardly any training or skills to be part of Western society. And I'm not blaming them either. It's not their fault. I mean, they're being played as much as we are by whomever is behind this. And our politicians are doing someone else's bidding on this, I'm sure. I mean, I can't imagine politicians actively wanting to destroy their own country. But then again, politicians tend to lie, so I could be wrong on that anyway. This is where I'm going to end my rant, though. I'm, I'm not sure what we should do. I'm not sure how we can save the world. But um, like, share and subscribe if you feel so inclined. Criticism, as always, is more than welcome. And let me know what you think. I'm curious. Because um, something doesn't seem to add up, in my humble opinion. But it doesn't mean that I'm right. Hope to see you all next time.